Hey everybody, John Bingham here with Guitars Gear and Music Tech. Today I want to show you a guitar that you've never seen from me before. It's my Cheap Jackson, or as Chris calls it, my buddy Chris. This is the $200 Jackson. Stick around. So the story behind this guitar is I walked into a guitar shop that specializes in vintage strats, vintage Gibsons, and everything that they stock new is like the old. They just do classic. Um, their amplifier selection is not high gain amplification or anything like that. And they do a lot of pedals and things like that, but it's catering generally toward people who prefer uh, a more classic style of instrument. Lo and behold, I turn the corner into the uh, second room and there on their used guitar wall is hanging this Jackson. And I thought, boy, this is really out of place. So I talked to the guy who, uh, who runs the shop and I said, what are you guys doing with this thing? This doesn't fit. And he said, I took it as a trade in towards something else. Get it out of here for me. And I said, well, I'm not necessarily looking to buy an import Jackson because this is an import. This is the SL2 Pro which is a part of their professional series, which happens to be made in Indonesia of all places. Anyways, he tells me, I'm gonna make you a deal that you just won't be able to turn down. And he did. And I ended up walking out of the store with this guitar for like 200 bucks, dirt cheap. Um, anyway, here's, here's the feature set of this guitar. I really, really like this guitar. It is an alder body with a maple neck, and the neck goes all the way through. You can see it's a neck through. It's got an ebony fingerboard. It's got giant frets. These are like the 6100 frets. It's got these cool inlays on it. I think you can kind of see. They're like these mini shark fins. And then on the octave, the, the 12 fret there, you can see there's one on the bottom. Same thing on 24. There's another one on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that well. But, you know, stylistically, it's okay. Um, came with an original Floyd Rose. I replaced that with a Goto because I prefer the Goto. It also came with a pair of Seymour Duncan Distortions, which um, isn't really my flavor. So I swapped them out for a JB and a Jazz, which um, I'm thinking about changing the JB again. In this guitar, it's just a bit dark. I think this guitar would benefit from something like a custom or a DiMarzio Fred or something like that. Anyways, the guitar itself is a good weight. It's It feels really good. Now, in my band Junkhead that I play in with my buddy Chris, um, this guitar doesn't fly. Because <laughs> Junkhead is a grunge band, and this is very much not a grunge guitar. You can see it from a mile away. It's, I mean, I should be playing Poison covers with this rather than Alice in Chains covers. But I really like the guitar, so I can deal with them making fun of me for owning it. <laughs> Anyways, I want to play it a little bit for you. Um, because, like I said, it's just fun. This is the best $200 I've ever spent on a musical instrument, like, ever. The thing's really, really good. Another thing I should note, for people who are interested in the Jackson Professional Series but are a little bit skeptical about something that's made in Indonesia. Um, I've owned this guitar now for like a year and a half, and I've never had to do a truss rod adjustment on it. The neck is, it was the wood was nicely cured. It's nicely reinforced with a pair of graphite rods that go through it, as well as the truss rod. And um, yeah, I mean, so far it's been like completely maintenance free. The fret work was impeccable right off the wall. Um, so being the only import guitar that I own, I have a real hard time having anything bad to say about it. I mean, with exception of the fact that it's like obviously a shredder guitar, which isn't my normal MO, um, things killer. Anyway, I'm going to run it into, I don't know if you can see back there. It's kind of bad camera angle. I apologize, but I'm going to run it into my Mesa Boogie Recto Verb 50 which I picked up off of Craigslist, I think, for 500 bucks, something like that. So this is going to be a pretty inexpensive rig, but I dig it. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let me kick on my full drive, too, and my delay. 
And you know what? I'm going to put on reverb, which I never do. I'm going to have a little bit of like a Devin Townsend sound to this one. So, yeah, plenty of wash in that sound. plays really fast it's really easy like if i was doing legato runs like some satriani stuff yeah you get you know it just goes it's really really easy to play like speed picking stuff is you know equally fast if uh if i can warm up i'm not very good at it but we'll give it a go A little sloppy. Let me try that again. I'm feeling a little. That's it. That's my $200 Jackson. You know, this is the kind of thing you get on stage and people see it from people see it from across the uh, the arena because I'm playing arenas or not. <laughs> but um, yeah, this guitar works really well for Elvis Simmons and the Memphis Strutters. This is exactly what uh, exactly what they would have used. I could see uh, what's his name, James Burton shredding away on his Jackson soloist <laughs> perhaps no <laughs> but uh I really like this guitar so yeah anyway this is my Jackson soloist dig it <laughs>